Not every obstacle is suitable for tunneling, depending on local conditions such as climate, water currents, soil quality, and other factors. Engineers may decide it's better to build a bridge. Despite differences, all bridges serve the same basic purpose, to ease travel across an obstacle. Some bridges span rivers, lakes, or harbors. Others cross deep gorges or ravines. Still others traverse roadways and highways. Bridges carry traffic. Cars, buses, trucks, trains, and pedestrians. The first bridge may have been nothing more than a fallen tree across a stream. Over time, humans have used their knowledge of physics and geometry to create more and more ambitious bridges. The ancient Romans perfected the arch and incorporated it into the stone bridges they built. Some of these structures remain standing today. Steel arch bridges, such as the famous one built in 1932 across Australia's Sydney Harbour, employ the same principles of physics used by the Romans. In the Roman stone arches, each stone presses on the next, distributing the total weight of the bridge among the stones and out to the abutments at the sides of the bridge. A steel arch bridge distributes weight in the same way. Arch bridges have great compression strength. The Scots built the first major steel bridge in 1890. The Firth of Forth rail bridge had a cantilever design. Cantilevers are long beams supported on one end. The beams meet in the middle of the bridge. Beams of tubular steel made the bridge stronger and lighter than it would have been if it were made of solid steel. The Firth of Forth rail bridge remains one of the strongest bridges ever constructed, and it's still in use today. Around the same time the Firth of Forth was erected, another impressive bridge was built in Brooklyn, New York. Unlike the complex system of heavy girders or beams found in a cantilever design, the Brooklyn Bridge used a lightweight system of steel cables that is similar in structure to a rope bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge was built on a much larger scale, using the latest materials and technology. Today, the Brooklyn Bridge stands strong, supporting gridlock traffic every day. All bridges eventually wear out, but some last much longer than others. Materials, maintenance, and design affect how a bridge will hold up against traffic and weather. John Roebling, the engineer who built the Brooklyn Bridge, devised a system of trusses or supports and cables that made his bridge six times stronger than he thought it needed to be. The diagonal cables, called stays, still keep the bridge stable, even in high winds. When engineers designed the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington State, they failed to account for strong winds and did not include any cable stays or other stabilizing mechanisms. Just a few months after opening in 1940, the bridge started to sway during sustained wind. The bridge swayed so much that people crossing it felt seasick. Four months and six days after opening, the bridge collapsed. This bridge disaster taught engineers much about how to build more stable bridges. Today, engineers test model bridges in wind tunnels before they build real structures. Japanese engineers did this when planning the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge, currently the longest suspension bridge in the world. They designed the bridge to withstand winds up to 178 miles an hour and earthquakes up to 8.5 on the Richter scale. The weather in the region is so brutal and the risk of an earthquake so high that testing was vital. Construction posed a monumental challenge, partly because of weather conditions and partly because of the sheer size of the project. At 6,532 feet, the bridge is four times the length of the Brooklyn Bridge. Each tower is more than 900 feet tall. The base of each tower is surrounded by tons of stone to stabilize it and reduce erosion in the strong currents. In 1980, a violent storm caused a freighter to slam into the unprotected south pier of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge in Tampa, Florida. The collision caused the 1,200-foot-long cantilevered center span to collapse into Tampa Bay, killing 35 people. The damage to the bridge was so severe that engineers did not even attempt to repair it. 
After the Sunshine Skyway disaster, engineers and government officials decided to tear down the bridge. In its place, they built a new type of bridge, a cable-stayed bridge, which is similar to a suspension bridge, but lighter and more stable. The use of new, stronger materials and the placement of concrete bumpers around the pier bases should prevent future disasters. Even though the new Sunshine Skyway Bridge looks futuristic, its design was inspired by John Roebling's Brooklyn Bridge, where diagonal cables add support. Around the world, safer, longer, higher, and more inventive bridges are being designed and built to transport people and traffic. New materials and engineering techniques will make more spectacular bridges possible. Who knows where they will take us next? <laughs>